so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! Hey, 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 it's me, Blippi. Have you ever been to a water park and went down a water slide? They are so much fun! Hey, why don't you and I draw a water slide together? Okay, I'm gonna draw a green water slide. First, I'm gonna start by drawing a letter S. Wow, what a great letter! Wow, it looks so cool! I love the letter S. <laughs> okay, then we'll draw another letter S right next to it, and then we'll connect them just like that. Whoa, with a small oval down there. And then let's draw a square up here. This is how you get into the water slide. And you can't forget about the ladder. Whoa, just like that. With some lines for the steps. Whoa, and then what's it missing? Water, yeah. You spit out at the bottom and then go into the water. Whoa, they are so fun. I love water slides and I love drawing with you. If you want to draw more with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Monster truck. Are you ready to learn about some monster trucks? Let's go. Look at that! It's a giant monster truck! Let's check out some of the parts of the monster truck. All that in there? That's the gears and the suspension. There's so much stuff going on in there. Whoa! Yeah, the engine. The engine is right here. That's where the monster truck gets all of its power from. Ooh, and this? That big yellow thing, that's the body of the monster truck. Monster wheels and tires. Check it out! This green monster truck is doing a wheelie! Let's watch an instant replay and then watch a couple more monster truck wheelies! You're inside a real monster truck. Let me show you some of the parts. First off, you got in here because you went from the bottom. You get inside a monster truck from the bottom. And here's the first part I'll tell you about. This is the steering wheel. You steer the monster truck with this, okay? And then let's push the ignition button. 
which then flips on all of your gauges, like your oil temperature, transmission temp, and your, your tack, which is your rotations per minute of the engine. Whoa, and how you make that engine go vroom is down here is the gas pedal. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And then this is the brake. That's how you stop the monster truck. All right, now let's watch some monster trucks. Uh-oh, it crashed. Look at how big this monster truck is. It stands about 12 feet tall. About two of me, Blippi. That was close. Want to see what it's like riding inside a real monster truck? It was really cool seeing inside a real monster truck while it drives. <laughs> it was really bumpy. Meet my friend Peyton. <laughs> he's a crew chief and he's gonna tell you a fact about his monster truck. So this monster truck weighs 10,000 pounds. Peyton is so cool, he gets to work on monster trucks all day long. And he even gets to wash their tires. I like monster trucks. Do you guys like monster trucks? That was so enjoyable learning about monster trucks with so you. Much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And do you like to draw?
I do too. I have a great idea. Why don't we draw something together? Yeah. Well, what should we draw? Oh, a mermaid. That sounds pretty fun. I love mermaids. I've never seen one in real life, but they're pretty cool. Yeah, it's half human, half fish. What else could you ask for? <laughs> Not a whole lot. <laughs> All right, let's draw the body, which is, yeah, half fish. All right, let's go like that and do an arc line like that. Whoa, yeah. And then for the tail, there we go. Whoa, I bet this mermaid can swim super fast. Okay, now let's draw the human part. Yeah, here we go. Let's just do a little thing like that. So then we show a little section between the fish and the human. And then we need the shoulders of the mermaid. Oh, let's go in just a little bit more for the neck. And then a big circle for the head. Whoa, and then two small circles for the eyes big smiley face. Yeah, because she's so happy to be a mermaid. Whoa. And then let's go like this for the hair. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. What a beautiful mermaid. And then let's draw some fins for the arms. There we go. Whoa. What a beautiful mermaid. She's just hanging out in the water, swimming around, enjoying life. <laughs> well, if you love drawing with me and want to draw some more, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. It'll make you want to shout, Lippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy. Can't wait to eat this cupcake. Whoa, have you ever had a cupcake before? They are so yummy yeah, and very sweet. I only eat a cupcake after I eat a nice, healthy meal. Whoa, hey, wait a second. Why don't you and I draw a cupcake together? First, let's start with the color pink. Yeah, maybe some strawberry frosting. Or raspberry. Whoa, there we go. Whoa, and frosting so much it's dripping. Whoa, there we go. Whoa, that looks pretty yummy, right? Okay, now let's use the color brown. And then we'll draw what it goes into. Yeah, the paper. Yeah, you peel that down and then then you can eat the cupcake. And there we go. Whoa! Kind of looks like it could be a chocolate cupcake or maybe vanilla. Whoa! There we go. Whoa! Does that look yummy? Whoa! How about we draw some sprinkles? So let's take some orange. Whoa! There we go. Orange sprinkles. Maybe some green sprinkles. Boop, 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 boop. And maybe some blue sprinkles. Beep, beep. Whoa, that was so much fun, drawing a cupcake together. If you want to draw more with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey! Look at what it is! Yeah! It's a lawnmower! In this video, we are going to do some fun yard work together! Let's go!
things first. Safety is first. Before getting on or operating a riding lawnmower, you must first wear ear protection. Yeah. And eye protection. Backward. Forward. Riding lawnmower. what we have here. This is a push lawnmower. But before we start this push lawnmower, we need to check two things. The first thing is gas. Let's check the gas. And the second thing is oil. We got to check the gas and the oil before we start this push lawnmower. All right. First things first, let's check the gas. And right here is where you check the gas. You unscrew this. Okay, then you look down inside. Yeah, we need gas. Okay, let's put the cap right there. And then let's take our gas can full of gas and be very careful. You might need to ask a parent to do this because this can be dangerous. Okay, there we go. The gas, yep, it's full now. Let's put the gas cap back on. <laughs> it's nice and tight. Okay, now we need to check the oil. Yeah, right here. Unscrew this one. Okay. Yep, the oil is really low. Okay, we need to open up the oil container. And we need to, okay, there we go. Now let's pour some oil in right here. There we go. Check it again. Oh, yep, that's a perfect amount of oil. Okay. Tighten this up, and now we're ready to go. Okay, we are ready to mow the lawn. should we do? Oh, I have an idea. A leaf blower. Yeah, this is going to blow away all the leaves. Watch this.
we got here. This right here, yeah, those are weeds. And I have the perfect yard tool for weeds. It's called the Weed Eater. Yeah, this spins around really quick and chops up all of the weeds. But first, apart from the ear protection, the eye protection, we also need hand protection for weed eating. So let's put on our gloves, and then let's get to weed eating. It was fun doing yard work with you. If you want to watch more of my videos, you know what to do. Just search for my name, Blippi. B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. Bye. Uh. <laughs> hey, 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 it's me, Blippi. And I was just hanging out in this cardboard box. Check it out. It's like a bird! Whee! <laughs> oh, I have so many cardboard boxes around here. What are we to do with them? Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we take a few of these cardboard boxes and make something out of them? <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Oh! Hey! How are you doing? <laughs> I'm just making a rocket ship out of these cardboard boxes. <laughs> I am using these scissors nice and safely to cut a giant window out of it. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> wow. Ooh, now I can sit inside it later. <laughs> then we can explore outer space. I am so excited. Okay, here we go. So now that I have my window, I can then put the cardboard box, well, used to be a box, now it's a rocket ship, up. And do you see this? This is a square. Yeah, but we actually need to make it a triangle. <laughs> so let's take our scissors. Yep, with your parents' grown up supervision, you can cut this nice and carefully. Okay, one side is done. And now we need to do the other side. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. It used to be a square, but now it's a triangle. <laughs> okay, now we need some tape to then tape it to make the top of the rocket ship. Okay, here we go. Let's grab the tape, pull off a big piece of tape. Whoa! Alright, let's give it a little slice. Okay, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, put that there. I love making things out of cardboard boxes. You can make so many things. Today we're making a rocket ship, but one time I made a monster truck, another time I made a dolphin, <laughs> and I named that dolphin, uh, what was that name? I think it was Dolphy. <laughs> oh, oh, sometimes the tape gets stuck, but that's okay, we got it. All right, there 
Here we go. Give it a little slice. And then, tape up the other side. Wow, here we go. I am so excited to go into outer space. Have you ever seen the stars at night? Yeah, they're so bright. <laughs> and the moon? I love the moon. Have you noticed that the moon sometimes is a full moon? Yeah, sometimes it's a half moon. And sometimes it's a new moon. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's uh, give this a little twist. Now it's time to design our rocket ship. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. So, the first step to design is to have a plan. So let's take this white piece of paper right here and let's draw the rocket ship. So the first thing you need to do is plan. Plan how the rocket ship is gonna look. So let's draw the rocket ship. So we have a trapezoid over here and then we have a big rectangle for the body of the rocket ship and then we have a triangle for the cone of the rocket ship. And obviously I want a lot of color. So first let's take some orange. Perfect. I love orange. And then let's take some blue. So let's color it in. I have a plan. I'm going to use colored paper for that. So I'm actually going to use this black marker to symbolize that these are pieces of paper. We will do that later. All right. Oh, whoa. There's a lot of stars here. So let's actually, you know, make some stars right here. Yeah. Yeah, I love stars because you see them at nighttime when you look up in the sky and they twinkle. Yeah, kind of like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> you know that song. I like that song too. Ooh, and yellow? Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Wow, our rocket ship is looking so good. All right, I think I have a really good idea. Let's take the color red because it's nice and bright and spell my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I Flippy. Perfect. Alright, so that is the plan. Huh. Looks like this triangle, the top of the rocket ship. Yeah, we could color it. How about we color it? Yeah. Blue. I like blue. And we actually have a lot of blue paint on the here, so we can actually just use blue paint for this part. Wow. Perfect. Whoa. I think if we can make this rocket ship in real life, it's gonna be so good. All right, here we go. All right, like I said, first thing we have to do is use the blue and orange colored paper to put on the side just like this. So let's take the glue stick. Yeah, yep. Put a lot of glue right on the backs. Just like that. Okay, there's two pieces. Okay, there's one. Here's the second piece. All right, there's one, two pieces of paper, and we got to do two more. Yeah, which will make one, two, three, four pieces of paper. I'm gonna put the glue on them right over here. Okay. Now we have four pieces. One, two, three, four. So let me finish the rest and then we'll see how many we have in total after I'm all done, all right? Whoa! Look! <laughs> it's 
falling apart. <laughs> well, sometimes if things fall apart, you just have to fix them. Okay, here we go. And after we fix this, then we can count all of the colors. So, let's take our tape. Alright, now the rocket booster is all fixed. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's count all of the colored pieces. Yeah, the blue and the orange pieces. Those are my two favorite colors. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of paper. <laughs> Good job. Okay, what else did we have on our piece of paper over here of our initial plans of our rocket ship to go to outer space? We had stars. Yeah, remember? We had yellow stars. Yellow star. Wow, they're so bright and they twinkle just like the real thing. <laughs> okay, and let's put some blue stars on there. Can you think of anything that's the color blue? <laughs> My shirt. What about the big, vast blue ocean? <laughs> yeah, here's another blue star. There we go. What about a purple star? Yeah, I like the color purple. Put it right there. And last but not least, another purple star. Right there. Perfect. That looks so cool. <laughs> All right. So, as you remember, we have to spell my name on it, because that's what was on the plans. But, before we do that, let's do the top of the rocket ship. Remember what color I said I was going to paint it? Yeah, the color blue! Okay, let's take some blue paint, and <laughs> my painter's palette. <laughs> I'm an artist! <laughs> And let's take a paintbrush. Ooh, I love painting. <laughs> okay, and let's squeeze some blue paint right on top. Whoa! 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 That's so much fun. Okay, let's give it a little dab. Let's do some painting. Miss me, miss me. Go. Wow, this is such a pretty blue. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Have you ever used paints before? They're so fun. You can use a paintbrush and you can even use your fingers sometimes. We won't do that today, but that art technique is called finger painting. <laughs> There we go. How does that look? Do you like that? Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's put this away. We need to stay nice and clean and organized. There we go. And remember the last thing we needed to do? We needed to spell someone's name. Oh yeah, my name, Blippi. Will you spell it with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. And do you remember what color? Yeah, the color red. Okay, so let's use a new paintbrush. Yep. And then we need to make sure we don't mix the red and the blue because then it won't be red anymore and it won't be blue. Do you know what color you get when you mix blue and red? Yep, purple! But we're 
gonna keep them separate. <laughs> so, let's take this cap off. Oh, there is so much paint in here. And I like to use a lot of paint. Whoa! There we go! Whee! <laughs> wow, a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, before we paint it, we should probably lay it down sideways because we need to write my name, which is sideways. Yeah, there we go. Like that. That's how we write sideways. Okay, let's take our paintbrush and let's put the letter B right here. Alright, now that we have the letter B, the second letter is the letter L. Yeah, just like that. The third letter is an I. Ready? Okay, there we go. B L I. <laughs> you know the next letter. A P, yeah. B L I P. All right. B L I P P. Yeah, here we go. All right. One last letter. B L I P P I. Blippy. Good job. <laughs> there we go. We just completed the rocket ship. So now we gotta get inside. Oh no! Do you see what I did? <laughs> we were so silly! <laughs> Check this out. The window is right there! Yeah! That means we have to twist it this way. See? And now, my name is upside down! <laughs> That's okay though. We're gonna fly through outer space in this new cardboard rocket ship. I am so excited with my name being upside down. <laughs> so silly. Are you ready? Because I sure am. Here we go! Whoa! 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 Hey! I love outer space! Good job building the rocket ship with me! Now that we're in outer space, I think we should explore our solar system and learn all about it! Alright, here we go! That is our sun, and its name is called the sun. <laughs> How original. Our sun provides all the light in our solar system, and that light takes eight minutes to go from the sun to our planet Earth. And the sun is so big, there's 1.3 million Earths that can fit inside of it. Whoa, that's a lot of Earths. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Outer space is so much fun! Oh, look at that planet! That planet is Mercury. Wow, that planet is really rocky. And it, there's so many craters on it. And actually, since it's the closest planet to the sun, one rotation around the sun is super fast. It's only about 88 days on Earth. <laughs> Mercury is awesome! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Now we're at another planet. Look at that planet. That planet is the planet Venus. And it is so hot. It's the hottest planet. Woo! It's getting hot in here! <laughs> the planet has so many volcanoes on it! And it's actually really bright. If you look up in the sky from our planet Earth, you can actually see it without a telescope! Wow! <laughs> here we go! Whoa! where you 
when and I live. Wow, what a beautiful planet. There's so much water there, and then there's a lot of trees and mountains. Whoa, and our planet Earth, yeah, we have one moon. Let's head there now. sent robots and rovers to Mars. That is awesome. Us humans have yet to land on Mars ourselves, but maybe someday soon, maybe you'll be the astronaut. Yeah, here we go. That's our planet Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. And do you see that big red dot? That is a storm. Whoa, that's a big storm. And Jupiter actually has 79 moons. <gasps> that's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> Is our planet Saturn. Whoa, what are those? Those are Saturn's rings. Wow, there's so much dust, ice, and rocks that form those to make up those rings. Wow, what a cool looking planet. All right, Saturn, see you later. Bye bye. Uranus. Yeah, what a cool planet. Wow, it's kind of blue looking, huh? Yeah, that's because there's so much ice on it. It's known as the big ice planet. Whoa, it has 13 rings and 27 moons. All right, see you later, Uranus. Bye bye. is the planet Neptune. It's so dark, cold, and windy on that planet. Oh, let's get out of here. The last planet of our solar system. Look at it, it's really small. That is Pluto. It's so small, it's a dwarf planet. Wow, and it's really cold. I love Pluto. <laughs> it's really chilly out here, though. Let's turn around and count all of the planets, shall we? <laughs> Yay! Whoa! Whoa! I'm upside down. But now look at my name. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all of the planets in our solar system together. Hey, I think we should count all of them. Okay, the sun isn't a planet, so let's count the planets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh w w wait a second. Eight, nine? Who knows? Some people say Pluto's not a planet, but I don't know. It's all up in the air right now. Well, or outer space. <laughs> so silly. Eight or nine. We'll keep it at that. Okay, now let's name the planets. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Wow! Good job! All right, well, I should probably get going now. Maybe we'll go and explore another solar system someday. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Whoa. And look 
look at where I'm at. Whoa, today I'm at Young Chef's Academy in Covington, Washington. This place is so cool. Yeah, where young chefs, kids just like you, can come here and learn to cook some delicious treats. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Flippy. Hey, who are you? My name's Chef Riley. Oh, nice to meet you, Chef Riley. Hey, do you mind if we go explore the kitchen? Go for it. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, let's go. Wow, look at this kitchen. It is so bright and colorful. Whoa, come on. Okay, the very first thing that I need to do when we enter kitchen is wash your hands. Okay, I'm going to turn on hot water. And then I'm going to rinse them. Okay, get them nice and moist. And then we need some soap. Okay, and we need to scrub for 20 seconds. And one way to do this is to sing the ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> okay. Now, we get to rinse off our hands. Let's get them nice and dry. Now, once our hands are dry, clean, now, I can put on an apron. <laughs> yeah, an apron is used. So then, clothes not get dirty when you're cooking with some food. <laughs> All right, and can't forget my Young Chef's Academy chef's hat. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> All right, check it out. This kitchen is so colorful. Do you see all these cabinets? Yeah. Whoa. These, yeah, are the color green. Ooh, this over here, yeah. That cabinet is purple, pink, yellow, and blue. Whoa, I bet there's a lot of cool things in these cabinets. Whoa, look at this. Some yummy vegetables. Hey, do you know what kind of vegetable this is? Yeah, this is an orange pepper. <laughs> look at these. Yeah, some green beans. I sure do love vegetables. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited. Wow, I am so excited. This is going to be tasty. I am looking at the recipe of what we're going to be making today. Looks like we're going to be making crispy green beans. Whoa, those look tasty. And creamy ranch dip. This is gonna be so yummy and healthy. I love vegetables and I love ranch dip. I wonder if we're gonna be able to dip the green beans into the ranch dip. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it seems like we need a lot of tools and a lot of ingredients. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's in here that we need. Okay, looks like we need some measuring cups. Oh, a small one, a medium sized one, another medium sized one, and a big one. <laughs> okay. Put those right back here. Perfect. Then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm, oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa, yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes, from small to medium, the medium, the large. <laughs> okay, put them right, about right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh, 
Wow. A measuring cup. This is what you put liquids and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids. And this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Oh, let's see. Is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this! It's a rolling pin! <laughs> oh, so cute! This is a small rolling pin. Whoa! And this is a big rolling pin! Whoa! They're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because you can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, probably right in here. Oh, yeah! Two ingredients that we need. Breadcrumbs. And flour. Perfect. Okay, we'll shut this. All right. There we go. And uh, let's see. How about some cold ingredients? Wow, look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream, probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh, some cheese, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, whoa, okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream, okay. Put that down. And now, I think we're ready. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools. But this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Huh. Want some help with these? Oh, sure, I hey. Brought, hi, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're gonna wanna preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first we're gonna wanna do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're gonna wanna make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we wanna scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Sure. Okay, looks like we need some flour. Let's do a little scoop. go and perfect great job Lippy. all right next we're gonna want to crack an egg okay Let's see so at young chefs academy we crack an egg using the table not the edge of the counter so that it doesn't get all over the floor in the mess okay <laughs> you want to crack hard whoop, and use your thumbs to break open the egg just like that perfect you'll want to put the shell in a separate bowl okay here we go Table. There we go. Great job, Lippy. Thank Next, you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Okay. All right. Next we're going to want to do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. Wow. So this looks about right. Yeah, so is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is, it's dried breadcrumbs. Okay, all right. Oh, let me see 
use that. Okay, one big scoop. All right. In the same bowl? Yeah. Oh, so sorry. In a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right, next we're going to want to add the rest of our spices, which okay. is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're going to want to use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. Here we go. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then put it in the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Salt is so yummy. Here we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. Come on, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. And <laughs> How do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. Okay. Whoa. This is a really good way to mix good it all up. Job. Yeah, you want to use it like that. All right. Next, we're going to want to put our egg into this mixing bowl. The clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay. Here we go. Put the egg in this bowl. Whee. Oh. <laughs> all right. And we're going to want to use a little bit of water. Just water like this. In with the egg. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Put some water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk that, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh, okay. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay, so let's take the fork and let's whisk the egg. Whoa, did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, and now it's all mixed up. Perfect. That's perfect. We're going to grab a couple handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay. Right. Perfect. And toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is going to help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look. They used to be green, but now they're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right. Now we are going to touch the egg. We're going to put the green beans. We're going to use two different hands. We're going to have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not going to touch the egg with this hand. We're going to put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay, take the fork out. Now, do a little tossing. There we go. Whoa, <laughs> I'm spilling. That's okay. Okay, wow. Look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All right, great. Now you're going to want to put the green beans into the panko. Toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow. Good. <laughs> that looks wow. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you want to put them onto the tray. Okay. Whoa. These are going to be so yummy. I know. I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. There we go. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You want to make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. 
Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah. Let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Ooh. Wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. All right, there we go. Awesome, now we're gonna wanna do half a cup of buttermilk into okay. your bowl. All righty. Go. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna wanna get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect, I'm ready. And we're gonna use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chives. Okay. Dill, parsley, and chives. There we go. Good job, okay. <laughs> Next we're gonna want our half teaspoon. Okay. A little bigger. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. Alright. Okay, let's give it a little scoop. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. Alright. Perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. Don't right. forget, we whisk with our wrists. All right. Whoa, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we want to juice our lemon. Okay. So you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half and we'll use our juicer here. We want to make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around to get all of that juice out. Okay. Yes, I'll try. Oh, there we go. Good job. Oh, yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. There's that for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Mix that up. All right. Yum. Now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right like this. Okay, hey, put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> and a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. Just remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> delicious. Did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, yum. Wow. Oh, look delicious, Blippi. Whoa, check them out. Oh my gosh. Right, Blippi, it looks like our green beans and zesty ranch are all ready. Ooh, so good. Those look yummy. Check them out. Whoa, 
I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, you'd think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of food. Yeah, like these yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> good job cooking. <laughs> oh, yee <laughs> Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yum! It was so tasty. Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chef's Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi. Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi.